experience of painting. We have been living in some sort of idealistic world that uh, there's three stages a painter, the, the act, and what remains is the painting. And that's what takes place in our mind. And there's no denying that. But this particular painter, this particular value of mind, realized one day that it's time to question the painting, to question the whole three. So there was an observer watching the painter in the act and producing a painting. Now it sounds highfalutin and complicated, but in very simple terms what is taking place is this painter used to think that it or he was creating the painting. So he had to come up with the ideas, the subject. He had to come up with the scale of the, the canvas. He had to come up with the medium. And therefore the painting could not take place until all of these tasks were performed. But something clicked. Something made sense. What about instead of the mind or the painter which is a value of mind, instead of that mind making the painting and controlling that assemblage of colors, shapes and images to its taste, to the painter's taste. It's not like that. The painting is questioning the mind. So they all come together as one before it begins. Well, let me explain. I wanted to paint a figure in the middle of the painting. But now the painting says to you, this blunt canvas painting which is nothing the canvas is saying what are you going to paint Mr. Mind so there's no plan no organized no nothing set out no agenda And the mind sp speaks back. I wanted to paint a figure. And the painting says, well, why not paint Christ? And the mind says, huh, I'm not able to do that. And the painting says, well, you've let me down. Because in this moment, that's what I want you to do. So if you're able, I will accept the act and together we will create what is not an idealistic Christ but a whole experience where the painter the act and the painting reach some sort of contented resolution and whatever remains as the painting has been absolutely 100% genuinely negotiated and agreed. The mind is not making a painting, the painting is making the mind. The painting is building a mind unto itself. It's a reversal role and of course once it's been practiced 
practiced, you realize that it's a 50-50 deal. Once the painting is started, the painter then makes decisions without asking the painting's permission. And then we have a very Buddhistic way of painting. There was an act, and all that took place was this act. When the painter dies, and the painting is demolished, the act can never be removed. So enjoy the negotiation. You're not alone, Mr. Painter. You're not alone, Mr. Painting. You are the act of bringing two together. And the observer, it loves every moment. Can you be the painter, painting, a painting, without observing? The whole three participating, merging into one whole experience.